What is up guys, Joe Snow right here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. So today in this video we're discussing about iOS 10.1 beta 3 that was seeded by Apple this morning and is now available for download for those who have installed the iOS 10.1 beta 2. As you can see, if you navigate here on software update, it brings you the iOS 10.1 public beta 3 updates for you to download and install. The actual log of the update is not that clear, it just says this beta software is now available. For details on what is contained in this beta, you should follow up that uh, link. But that link usually just brings you to this page right here where you can download the beta and this is how you install it if you don't have the uh, iOS 10 beta and you want to install it. Now a quick note about the iOS 10.1, you probably know that it's more focused on the iOS 10.1 feature that is created for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Those uh, enhancing the camera opportunities on that device. So what's the, uh, the matter? You see the camera got a new mode called the portrait mode and is only available on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus due to the new camera. Also, you might want to keep in mind that the iOS 10.1 public beta 3 is extremely small, which means that it might only contain a couple of bug fixes. As you can see from the screen right now, it has 22 megabit in size, which is definitely small. You can go ahead and download and install it, but if you don't have the uh, beta installed on your phone and you still want to download it, you can go ahead right here on beta.apple.com and you have to sign in, then you will get the uh, profile. Signing in is completely free and you don't have to register your unique device ID anywhere. This is a thing of past. After you get to, um, to sign in into the portal, you will get the profile and you need to install it like this. This is the profile you should install. It's called the iOS beta software profile. You will just need to tap and add it. After you add the profile, you just need to restart your phone. The phone will ask you automatically about the uh, restart procedure. So you just need to restart it. After the restart, you just need to go back to the uh, software update right here and you should be good to go. You should see this update right here, the public beta, and you will be able to download it. Now, if you don't want to be a part of the public betas anymore, you can go ahead right here, tap on the profile and delete the profile. Now, if you click delete, it will completely delete the profile, will restart the phone and you will no longer receive any beta software from Apple. But why would you do that? So, Let's talk a little bit about this version and about jailbreaking. You probably remember what I told you in my previous video when the second beta was released. Pangu is waiting for the iOS 10.1 to finally get released. And we all believed that the second beta will be the latest, given the fact that iOS 10.1 only has a couple of features for the iPhone 7 and some general bug fixes and enhancements on the background, not very big features for other devices. So nope, Apple decided that it should be good for them to create another beta. And as you can see, the third beta is now up. Pangu is definitely waiting for the iOS 10.1 to finally get out of the beta stage and get released for general public in order for them to be able to create a jailbreak. Because again, and I can't stress the thing enough, if they release right now a jailbreak for the beta, then when the uh, final release of 10.1 will be created and published, it will have the fix for the jailbreak and the jailbreak created by Pango won't be working anymore. As you probably know by now, iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.3 are the only jailbreakable firmware versions only on 64-bit devices. Now, I don't know if Pango is planning to actually add 32-bit device support on their iOS 10.x jailbreak, but odds are that they're not going to do that. And that's most likely because the 32-bit um, devices are kind of deprecated, they're old, obsolete, and most of them are no longer working correctly with iOS 10. For example, the iPhone 4S, which was a 32-bit device, no longer has the updates. So the iOS 9.3.5 is the latest version for iPhone 4S. 
you can install iOS 10 on 32-bit devices, being them iPhone 5 or 5C. And I don't think that Pangu will will stress their um, their systems enough in order to create a jailbreak for 32-bit because 32-bit devices require a different exploit created from different files and that's a whole new story. But we still have a hope. You see, even though Taiji uh, released the latest jailbreak for iOS 8.4, which is hell out of the uh, timeline we're talking about right now, they still say that they're not going to uh, give up on jailbreaking and they are still interested in that. We have their word that they're interested in jailbreaking, but we didn't see any release anymore from them since iOS 8.4, which was back in the summer of 2015. And that's not that good. But as I say, they say that they're not going to give up on jailbreaking, so we should get an unexpected jailbreak from them. I'm not going to say they will do that, but it's of course, probable. Now, if you want to stay updated on what's happening in the world of jailbreak, just subscribe to the channel and you can also go ahead on the playlist and save the jailbreak related playlist, which is available here on the playlist um, on the channel. And you should be able to see it if you search for it. Uh, let me see. Yep jailbreak updates right here. This is a playlist in which I keep you updated on what's happening. I have no idea why the um, thumbnails are not rendering correctly on mobile, but that's how it looks like. You can click on this plus right here. And if you're connected on your account on YouTube, you will be able to save the playlist for free and stay updated when I update the playlist, which is important because you get to know when a jailbreak was dropped. Now, for those who want to download the betas and they don't want to do the OTA update via the phone and they want the IPSW to mess with it in iTunes or Libby mobile device, there is a page on the iPhone wiki, the iPhone wiki slash firmware slash beta. Well, it's available right here. I put a link in the description. I also put a link in the description for the official Apple beta program that you can join for free and here you need to simply select the device you want and it will bring you the uh, latest betas right here. As you can see the iOS 10.1 um, beta uh, 3 is still called Butler as the uh, first beta, the second beta and so on and the only thing changed seems to be the baseband which is the same as the beta 2. Well you can simply go ahead here and tap this little link and you should be able to download the IPSW, which of course you can't do on mobile. But that's kind of it. Uh, not something important with this beta, but it's good from the standpoint of the jailbreak because it means that we're getting to the uh, final release point when the iOS 10.1 will finally be released and Pango can focus on releasing something publicly. This is it guys, if you want to download this update, go ahead, the links are in the description, and if you already have the beta program, it's just one tap away. This is it, thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for the jailbreak and also iOS related tutorials. I'm George, until the next time, peace out.